Hey everyone, I recently took a trip to Portland and I brought along some Phoenix 200 film. It's a new film, it came out in December 2023 and this is my first time shooting with it. I'm gonna be going over what I like and what I dislike about this film and what it might be best suited for. From the photos I've seen online, I had mixed opinions, but I did manage to get some photos I really loved. Let's check it out. So I knew this film would be super contrasty going into this and um, I took this first photo because I wanted to see like a silhouette of the airplane window and I wanted to see how the lighting turned up on the film. I do love the colors in this photo. I really love the green and the orange and also the halation on the top. I don't know how to feel about these photos, but I do like the greens, the blues, and the orange. I like how the sun also, you can see the halation on it. I really like this shot. The contrast is nice. I really like the colors. The halation on the water is so pretty. I love the mix of the blue and the orange here. There is like no shadow detail, nothing. I'm not in love with this photo, but I do like the colors. The bush looks really nice. And then also I like how the sky turned up here. One thing I really tried to stay away from while shooting this role was clear blue skies. Um, I just didn't really like in the sample photos how they turned out they kind of looked way too saturated and cheap like disposable camera cheap but because there's not too much of it here in this photo and it's not overly saturated i feel like it works i think it definitely helps to look up photos of the film stock before shooting with it just so you get an idea for you what you personally like and dislike about certain lighting conditions and contrast so that way when you go to take the picture then you know if it will show up well on film or not I really like these running ones. The green looks so lush. To me, it just looks so deep and like satisfying. I'm a really big fan so far of how this film stock has been rendering greens and blues and orange too. I prefer when film stocks lean more green too. Um, I honestly hate magenta cast and that's one thing I didn't like about some Fuji film stocks. This photo is underexposed, but I think you get just enough detail and that's what makes it nice. I really like the path. And then also I love the trees and the halation in the sky. It's just, it's so the little, how the little leaves just kind of fade off into halation. It's just like so delicate and so pretty. I like that a lot. You know, this, this lake picture is fine. <laughs> This, this lake picture is okay. I mean, there's nothing really there. There's some, there's some detail, I guess, in the shadows. Um, but this picture definitely got me thinking it could have even been pretty just to shoot the reflection of the trees and the skyline in the water because you do get more detail there. I do really like the halation though. It feels subtle and it's just like the perfect little kiss of halation. These chair shots are okay. I like how the golden light and the red of the chair, it, I think that looks really nice together. The orange light really comes through on this film stock, which is really cool. I like these hiking shots. Even though this was a high contrast photo, you don't lose all of the detail you have still just enough to make sense of what's going on i really like the halation too i feel like some people would definitely think it's too much but i don't usually shoot with film stocks with a lot of halation so for me it's just kind of like a nice stylistic thing for nature stuff i feel like it's pretty nice I 
I love the colors in this photo. I love the, the golden light on the rocks. I love how the detail kind of fades off into darkness. I love the greens. I even like the sky and the waterfall too. So even though the details in this photo are barely there, I really like this driving shot. How I think it even could have been improved if I had widened out, that way you get like the full silhouettes instead of just this moment here. But I don't know, it's kind of, it's just kind of up to you because this is also kind of nice just having this in the whole frame. There's something kind of nice and intimate about that too. But if I ha would have widened out, you would see the whole silhouette better. You'd get more context as to like the subjects and where they are, what's happening. Um, but other than that, the colors are just phenomenal. I am really, really happy with this. For these photos, we were driving and I literally just had my camera in hand and just held it above the car and just took the photos. Um, it was an experiment for sure. Not much detail in these photos, not much detail at all, but I, I like the little tiny lights of the cars. Just in photos in general, I love really tiny little details. Um, make me happy, so. These ones are pretty cool, I guess. The colors are good. Again, I like how shadows kind of lean towards green and the halation. In this shot, it's not like overbearing. It's, it's just, just a couple. But then to me, you start to see in the sky where like the blue looks a little bit cheap. That's just my opinion. What I like about this shot is even though it's dark, the leaves are transparent so they catch the backlight because you can see in the ones that are not reflecting, they're not catching the light, they just kind of fall off. So that way you still get detail in the shadows and it's not just crushed. This one is, I think, my favorite from the role and it's not just because it's of my dad, although it surely helps. This is a silhouette, I love silhouettes, but you still get context of what's happening. You know that it's a man, you can see his the outline of his face and of his glasses. I like, by the way, how the colors look through his glasses and just the colors are so awesome. I love it. I knew it was gonna be one of my favorites when I took it just because the background is simple, it's repeating, it's consistent, and then the subject is clear in the frame. I think koi fish are one of my favorite things to photograph. Um, I took some other ones here too, but this one is the best in terms of focus. Um, in this one, you could see that this koi fish is even jumping and it was, it was kind of scary. I think the fish look kind of awkward, but to me, the colors in this photo is just perfection. The, I mean, the reds and the blue from the sky and then the green from the trees above. It's just so pretty. Phoenix really came through for me on this shot. Personally, what I would use this film stock for in the future would be primarily for reflections and silhouettes. I feel like they really shine on this film stock. For the reflections, this has something to do with how the water diffuses and dims reflected light slightly. So then that way the dynamic range is not so crazy. I also liked the cityscapes, sunsets, and the nature that I shot with this film stock too. I'm really happy that there's a new film stock that has pretty greens and blues. Before you shoot with it, I would just be aware of the contrast um, because sometimes you will get nothing. So you get nothing, you lose. If you found this helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. I also just bought a new camera. Well, new to me. It's actually 44 years old, but that will all be revealed. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you again soon.